Okay, we will create the following 3D model using SolidWorks. Um, basically, what we need is the information within the engineering draw and the unit system that it's using. So, uh, talking about something about the part, all we have to do is to create this sketch straight along this direction and then eliminate this part and this other part. That is pretty much it. Um, now, regarding the first thing that I mentioned, the, the information within the views, um, it is linked to the second thing that I mentioned, which was the unit system. And the injury in draws made by Luis Miguel Werfano Garzón does not contain any information about the unit system, as you can see right here. Because of that, and this is a non-reading rule, you can assume that um, this is working on millimeters, right? So that is what we are going to do. The second thing is, I want to mention a lot about the information regarding the engineering draw. But I know that some of you does not want to know that, you just want to learn how to use SOLIDWORKS. So first I'm going to create the, the 3D model, then after that if you want to stay, I'm going to explain some different things regarding the, the engineering drawing, alright? So basically we will take into account these 50, 30 and 65 and 5 for us to create this shape, then extrude it and take into consideration these other dimensions for us to eliminate the part. Right here we have the extrusion dimension, right? So using this sketch and this dimension, we are going to create the extrusion. And then using this information, we will create the two holes, right? The two uh, packets. Now, uh, we are going to click on File, New part okay we're going to click on sketch sketch once again i want to select the right plane because i want that view to be considered my lateral view not the front view okay so right plane um we'll create the shape that we have right there I don't really care about the dimensions, guys. SolidWorks has a feature in which uh, if you create the sketch and then change the dimension, it is going to create a, propor a proportional way for you to change the dimension. For example, at this moment, as you can see right here, this line is about, I don't know, let me see. 160. All right. Which means that this is around 69. If I change this to the value that I require, which is 50, SolidWorks is going to create a uh, equivalent and change the entire sketch, as you can see right now. 50, enter. And now this is not the previous dimension, but this one, right? So this is 30. What I wanted to, to mention and to be clear is that it's not necessary to take into consideration uh, the dimensions for when you want to create the, the sketch at the beginning, right? This moment is pretty important, you know, so this is five millimeters. And this is 55. All right. Now, as you can see, this is in color blue because it's not correctly defined. Let me see. Because of the angle. All right, as you can see right there. Now, what I'm going to do, and this is a little trick, I think, 
is that I'm looking for, I'm going to create a center line for construction purposes. And I'm going to look for the center of this line, which is this one. And I'm going to connect it with the center of this other, which is this one. Right, escape. And I'm going to select the line once again and say that this has to be vertical. All right. Now, this is blue as well. Why? Because I can move this point. This should be at the same level at, as this one. So I'm going to use the control key for me to select this other and create a horizontal relation. All right, everything looks good. What's left is to click on features, suited bus base. Then this is 40 millimeters. Enter. Enter once again. And then we will create the the pocket. So sketch, sketch once again, but I'm going to select this face for me to clear to create the, the sketch. Control 8. Right there we have it. And we will start creating the two pockets. It is around here. All right, it looks good. I made an error on purpose. Why is that? Because this line shouldn't be connected to this edge. As you can see, if I try to move this, I cannot do it because when I create the rectangle, I click on this edge and that automatically generates a constraint, which is this one. So we have to get rid of it by clicking on it and click on the delete option on the keyboard. Right now I can move it. Now, uh, what's left is to define the dimensions. So right here we have one, which is um, 20 millimeters, enter. And right here we have the other, which is 15, enter. This is um, 10 millimeters and this is 28. All right, as you can see, I can move this part right here, but I want it to be centered. All right, so we're going to use the same trick as before for the middle of this line and the middle of this edge which corresponds to this other part okay then escape click on it vertical all right now all we have to do is to click on features extruded cut I'm going to enable the rotation and this is not enough so through all and okay all right guys and this is how you can create this 3d model using solidworks now regarding the engineering draw first for when you want to create engineering draw, you have to take into consideration some different normativities. That depends on the normativity that you are using. For example, this is a nomenclature that means either ISO A or ISO E. Alright, please Google it. This is what tells the reader if this is the front view or if it's this one. Or the other way around if it's this one the front view or uh, if it's the this is the lateral view right you just can google it click on google images and you will understand what i'm saying the second thing uh this is his name the name of the person that made this injury in draw that information usually goes right here you know within a box in which you place your name, the name of the part, the name, okay, your name, the name of the part, sorry, 
once again get your name the name of the part uh, the material the part some information if it's needed for example the tolerances um, I don't know what else could it be um, yeah everything if there is any manufactured protocol um, some notes whatever everything that it's needed for the reader to either manufacture it or create a 3d model uh, as well the number of the of the engineering drive there's more than one uh, this is a spanish for ex exercise one and i'm pretty sure that he meant to uh, say that the material is not necessary because he always placed the material right here for example i don't know copper steel aluminum uh please do not do this this is horrible do it taking into consideration the things that i just mentioned now regarding the dimensions please on that box within that box place the unit system as well it's necessary because the reader, as I mentioned before, does not know if you are working in millimeters, inches, feet, whatever. Now, this is horrible as well. You cannot use a different color for the dimensions. If you are using green, okay, you can use green. But keep the color for all the dimensions. Uh, if I read this dimension, I don't know if the... the the person who made this engineering draw wants to tell me that this is uh i don't know it is using another color this is a mistake right um that was pretty much it what i wanted to mention guys please take into consideration as well the proportions i think that this is uh this is good although i would put i would place this view around here because right here we have plenty of space but yeah and take into consideration the proportions of the engineering draw as well an example would be let me see if there's any this is too small for example please place it uh, using I don't know a different size because this is too small for these huge views right and right here he had plenty of space for he to do that um but yeah guys that that is what I wanted to mention about the engineering drawing and once again this is how you can create this 3d model using SOLIDWORKS